Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back home. We just got back from Los Angeles and had an amazing spring break. We looked at a bunch of colleges for my daughter, got a little sunshine, and of course we did a little bit of shopping um, because that's what you do in LA. <laughs> Anyways, I did stop at the Hourglass standalone store that is on Abbott Kinney in um, Venice, California. And I was laughing because I ended up purchasing the Vanish Hourglass Liquid Foundation, which I have previously tested for you guys. Uh, which I have previously tested for you guys, but I was not a big fan. Now, I went in there, I do have to admit, I was feeling a little bit, um, I shouldn't say ugly, but you know when you're traveling and you don't feel your best. <laughs> um, and we were poking around and it was so funny because you guys, I love Hourglass Cosmetics and I pretty much have everything, um, a lot of their products. So um, when I was in there, uh, the lady who was helping me was showing me some things and said, you know what, I really want you to try this Vanish Liquid again because I think that you were probably wearing the wrong shade and that you were putting it on improperly because she goes, I think you're going to love it. And she put it on my skin and you guys, oh my gosh, my skin looked freaking amazing. <laughs> I was sold. Um, my husband even said, oh my gosh, your skin looks so pretty, i.e. it was the makeup. But um, anyhow, so I picked up a couple items from there and I thought, you know what, let's do a take two on the Vanish Hourglass Foundation. So first things is I have it in shade Shell. So previously I had been in Nude. I think I have been in Light Beige in the Stick Foundation and both of those are really not the right um, color or they do not match in this guy. So what she was saying is, is that you really need to go down a couple different shades um, in order for it to match. So just FYI, that could be if you have the Vanish uh, stick foundation and it is you know you think it's going to correspond with this it is not um so i got it in shell and i have to say i think it's a good match so let me share a couple tips and tricks that she told me to do first of all she did put i didn't realize that they had a bit of skincare so she took a little bit of their oil and um or and a little bit mix of their moisturizer and put that on first so you really do it says no primer but you really need to moisturize your skin and when i'm looking at this there is a little handout um, telling us how to use it um, it says hydrate number one no primer needed but you definitely need to hydrate so what i thought i would do is i thought we would put this on together i'm going to zoom you in just a little bit i don't want you to be too scared and i do have to tell you just being in the sun for just a little bit already brought out my hyperpigmentation so although i needed that vitamin d and i did wear sunscreen um it brought out some so just ignore that I am taking a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. I have purchased this in the pot size. I'm just using some of the samples right now. You guys, this is like one of my favorite makeup primers ever. It just really works for mature skin. And I am gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this on my face. And underneath, I am feeling very, very dry. We just got back last night, and of course, I was excited to jump back on and film. So I'm gonna come in just a little bit. Okay, in a little bit closer. So after your skin is moisturized, you're gonna shake this guy up really well. And she suggested using a damp sponge. You can, I have their brush. But she was saying, you know what, this is super high coverage, 
which you guys, it does perfect your skin like no other, but I don't like that big, heavy, cakey feel. Um, so she said, you know what? Sheer it out with a little wet beauty blender. I think the thing is, I don't think they sell sponges, so I think oftentimes they core, you know, kind of link it together with their brush. But when I was talking to her, she's like, it really should be used with a beauty blender. Now, half a pump should do your whole face. So this is brand new. Let's get a little bit out. Ah, okay, the infamous, here we come. Maybe. Here, no. <laughs> oh no. There we go. Okay, you guys, let me show you. I'm gonna do a little swatch over here. This is, this is, what did I call it? Shell. And this is light with neutral undertones. So again, I usually go light medium with neutral. She was like, no, you need light. Um, okay, so what she said, she put, she did a little bit. We're gonna do half of my face first because you need to kind of work quickly, okay? So I have that on, and I am going to actually go grab my mirror. Hold on. So going to use this damp beauty blender, and we're gonna kind of tap this into my skin here. It's gonna be so funny because you, as many of you know, I do not need any foundation and I didn't ever, didn't really like this, but it's funny when somebody applies it for you, how it can change your opinion of it. Okay, you guys, let's get a little bit more so you can kind of see. That is where a lot of my pigmentation is. And then we'll take a side by side. I did already put on my eyes. And you guys, again, I am just getting back from traveling, so my skin is not in tip top shape and I'm tired. Um, okay, here is one side with this sheared out, okay? I do find that the match is pretty darn good. Um, and that again is in shell. So I was way up about four shades up from what she was recommending. Okay, let's go ahead and finish with the other side and then we can kind of take a whole look at it. So again, you wanna work a little bit quickly. I'm just gonna put some, I guess, I don't wanna use too much, but I didn't get Okay, you guys, here is half a pump, pretty much put all over my face with a damp beauty blender and then primed again with a very moisturizing, um, I use the magic cream. So this is what it looks like. And I have to say it was just that when she put it on, my skin just looked really perfected, but it did not look cakey. Um, and just a little goes a long way. So what? there's a bunch of not so good reviews, including one from me, um, because I was a huge fan of the um, Vanish Stick Foundation, but I did find that that one sometimes transferred on some of my clothes. So sometimes I really do like to use liquid because I feel like it doesn't kind of move around as much on my skin. And I just found that when I use this with the sponge, I ended up liking this so, and using the right color, which I think makes a huge difference. I really all of a sudden was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this guy a second chance. So I thought what I would do is finish off with a few of their Hourglass products along with one of the new lip oils. So. Um, I ended up, whoops, I ended up getting this in the beautiful shade Cameo, and you guys will not be surprised. This is just right up my alley. Oh, so I have the original Hourglass Lip Oil. I love it. I use it all the time. 
Um, I've used it definitely in one of my videos, but this, now they have tinted shades and they're just gorgeous, you guys. I cannot tell you, so really uh, moisturizing and the colors are just subtle and beautiful. And this Cameo is like my favorite. So I could have, there was, a, there's several. I don't think you could go wrong with any, um, but for my, this is like my favorite kind of berry nude shade and I absolutely love it. So it was already kind of a little bit coming out of the tube from me using this. It is so darn pretty. I'm just gonna come up and show you this color. Again, this is in Cameo and I just, you guys, they're just moisturizing, so pretty, and I love, I just think it's a good addition if you are looking for something like that. Okay, let's put on um, one of my favorite bronzers. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the Hourglass products because I have so many of them. And I'm going to be using, whoa, I'm going to be using the bronzer. So one thing I want to tell you about these lip oils that I really love is that they give you a little teeny bit of a stain as they wear down. So I really like that because I'm not someone that usually touches up that much. I will definitely touch up if I'm going somewhere, but when I put this on, I just love the fact that it keeps my lips moisturized, but then it kind of leaves just a slight little berry stain on my lips and I just love that. Okay, my favorite bronzer, I have two of them, but I love the uh, Luminous, what is it called? Uh, Luminous Bronze Light. I also have Diffused Bronze, which I use that more in the summer. It is a little bit um, dark for me at this time. You guys, I am using actually from one of their palettes, but you can buy that separately and I'll link that appropriately for you guys but their bronze light is one of my favorite, absolute gorgeous bronzers. And we're just gonna add a little bit of this, just like this. It's so funny, I go through phases. I do, I love Hourglass. I They just don't come out with a lot of new releases, which I actually think is good. They just have their select products that are actually just wonderful and beautiful. Um, so going into the store was hilarious because I was like, yes, I have this, I have this, I have this. Um, and, but it made me kind of want to pull out my hourglass again because I just really enjoy these. And I think that it's a really great brand. I think their powders are so finely milled, but I find it to be a great brand for more mature skin. I warmed up the skin with that bronze light. And then we are going to use Mood Exposure for the blush. So I'm gonna just do a little, you guys, I'm using my little NARS powder brush and I am just going to do a little berry here. And don't worry, I'm going to be blending it in. So a little heavier than I want over on the cheeks, but don't worry, I love to take this powder and go into my ambient lighting powders and I just run this down just like this and then I diffuse that out. So I'm going to buff this in with the, and what I feel like happens is it just kind of tones down the blush but also just kind of makes it a little bit seamless between the There we go. Makes it a little bit more seamless between those, those uh, shadows. Okay, then I am going to use their highlight stick, which again, I'm pulling out because I don't think I've used this in a video, but this is one of my favorites and this is in Champagne Flash. You guys, it is just a beautiful, beautiful champagne going to give you a nice little highlight but very natural. So I'm just going to take this and again I love this because of that little triangle. I'm going to come up and then don't worry we are going to rub this in. I'm going to go a little bit above my brow to lift the cheekbones up just a tad here 
a little bit on the bridge of my nose and and then we will take either my fingertips or I'm just going to kind of come through here and then that's going to give you a little bit of highlight and take away from too glowy of skin Just kind of pushing that into the skin to give yourself that kind of nice, healthy glow. Okay, you guys, we have got on our foundation, a little bit of other hourglass blush bronzer, and I'm gonna come up, take a few pictures for you and let you see what this looks like. And then you guys can let me know. I might've just wasted my money buying that um, foundation but I think there's always a time when I do want a little bit more coverage. And I think that it was just that it really kind of perfected my skin and it wore really well throughout the day. I think one thing is there's always a time and a place when you want a little bit more coverage. And this is one of the foundations that for those kind of days, I think I'm gonna love this. I also find that you really can sheer this out. I'm really enjoying using that with this wet sponge for application. And again, it wears really well throughout the day. So that was what I found is when I first had it on, I was like, oof, I think it might be a little bit feeling heavy. But now what I'm finding is, is that as the day goes on, it just sort of seems to kind of meld into my skin and see, be, it really does seem to be a little bit more seamless. So I think the couple key things that she was telling me, a little goes a long way. And I think the problem is, is when it says half a pump, I think they might have wanted to design it just so the amount came out right that you need um, because then it's hard to just get the little half pump and then if you have more foundation you tend to just kind of add more of it on versus less is more with this guy as well as um, using a, a damp sponge so that you are not going to be getting that hugely heavy foundation look so let me come up take a couple pictures for you Okay, you guys, this is my second chance with my Hourglass Vanish Liquid. I have to say, I have been liking this much more <laughs> than I originally did, and then I'm glad I gave it a second chance. I do have some other goodies coming that I did get. I'll do a little California mini haul. I did not get to as many makeup places as I had wanted to, but of course I did do a little damage and I have a few other things. I'll give you a little teaser, a little new Tom Ford coming your way, um, and a few other favorite lip products. So just hang loose and it's so good to be back. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.